Okay, my younger sisters, I'm so glad you guys have decided to embark on this singles prayer room where we're going to be uncovering some things. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my life story. We overcome by the word of our testimony, by the blood of the Lamb. So, I just want to welcome you all and God bless you. I gave us a little assignment. It's not to test anybody, but this assignment is very important. If we don't understand our purpose on this earth, we're going to be going around in circles. Many of us end up copying, copycat, copying others, doing what everybody else is doing because we don't know why God saved us. And until you find your purpose, you're going to be working in disappointment. You're going to be feeling empty, unfulfilled. So it's very important that we take time and inquire from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit. God, why did you send me here? Why am I here on earth? Many of us think that we were born to grow up, finish school, get a good job, work some money, or marry um, a rich man, a handsome man, your fresh prince, and then live happily after, have children, have kids, grow old, and that's it. There's a greater and higher purpose why God sent you and I on this earth. And first, we have to realize that we are spirit beings. This body that we carry is just a container. It's just a container carrying the spirit. So you're a spirit being in. So you're just, this is not where you, you're, um, where God designed for us to end up. It's, this is not our home. We're just passing by. So he just used this body to send us here for a purpose. Each and every individual has an assignment here on earth. So what is your assignment? Have you found the purpose why God sent you here? Do you know your assignment? Do you know why you're here? We all have talent and we have giftings. When you're born, you're born with certain innate talents, with certain things that you, you grew up with. You can be talented at decoration, talented at doing hair, talented some of the things we develop when, while we're growing, you develop your talent. You develop being a seamstress. You develop being a hairdresser. You develop being whatever you're good at. But then we have our giftings. Gifts that comes from the Lord. Gifts that only God gives you. So you're unique about, there's something unique about you. And that uniqueness is only given to you by God. So the, you need to find what you're unique at. You have to find that thing and stand out. And, and so that differentiates you from everybody else. So you're not like everybody else. You're different. So, for example, I take myself. I have giftings. I'm gifted in so many things. I'm gifted in um, decorations. Um, if you have a party and you put me in it, I have a gift of, of turning that thing in, into something bigger so if you give me uh, just salt maggi and whatever I can make it into a big meal and I'm gifted in in giving um, I'm a kingdom financier that's a gift from the Lord those giftings that are backed by grace you cannot do it by yourself talent I'm talented in the job in the work that I do I'm talented a talent. I learned to play lawn tennis. That's a talent. I learned to play lawn tennis. I'm not efficient in it. I gave up halfway. So that's a talent that I learned. I'm talented. And um, so, so talents, things that you're born with and you learn how to do. Okay. And, but you're gifting. It's something unique that given to you by God. And and that gift is given to you, so you have to use it for the glory of God. Use your gift and your talent to glorify the Lord. 
So what are you doing with the gifts and the talents that God has given you? I'm going to share my testimony here. As a young girl growing, I've made my own mistakes. I have tested a few frogs before I found finally found the prince because I was focused on I had the same <laughs> mindset that I have to grow up um get married, have kids, have a family, marry rich men and blah 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 blah, blah every young girl's dream. But then when it wasn't forthcoming, I got myself into some um non-profitable relationships and into some relationships that turned out not to be what I wanted not to be the dream that it's like and every, God didn't want me to settle there because he has something greater for me and so he made it in such a way that I did not settle in one of those relationships I had to move on I learned from the mistakes I kept moving on the day that I decided that Lord I'm going to use my gift and my talent to praise you for your glory I dedicated my time and myself for the Lord I got myself involved not because I wanted God to do something for me, but then I forgot, I totally just forgot about me wanting to get married. I forgot about everything else. And I said, God, it's me and you here. It's me and you here. And I got myself involved in the choir. I didn't have I didn't have a voice to sing, but I had a passion to sing. And then I got myself into hospi hospitality and because of of course I'm good at entertainment. So I used that in the church and then got myself into praying because I have compassion in 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 and I have uh, uh, um, that passion for other people that um that God brought me through my my experience in life so that I can use it to bless other people Whatever I went through was a blessing for me because now I can use it. When I see somebody suffering, when I see somebody going through, somebody is hungry, somebody, I can relate with that person and be able to reach out. Okay? So I said, I use my gifting and my talent for his glory. I started to reach out to people. Every little thing that I had, I shared with people. And before you know it, I got myself involved in, in intercessory because I like to intercede for other people. I like to get myself involved in, 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 in see that people are okay. So I got into intercessory, into praying for people. And while I'm praying for people, I'm praying for myself. You see how that plays out. That I started using my talent. Instead of using it to be running behind and looking for men, I use it for God. Matthew 6.33 Seek you first the kingdom of God. And every other thing shall be added unto you. When I finally changed my mindset and I started seeking God for who he is, I was hungry for him, wanted to know him more. Things started to fall in place. The marriage came. Bam. The children came. Bam. The career came. Bam. Things were falling in place. I didn't have to run after that. Those things followed when I changed my mindset when I changed my focus and I dedicated my life to the Lord. Hallelujah. So first things first, you have to have a relationship with God. You cannot communicate with who you don't know. You cannot talk to a person that you don't know. You have to know God. Just going to church and saying that, Lord, I surrender myself, I give my... It's not... That's not all about it. It's a walk in progress. You have to know the life of Jesus. You have to know what it entails. You have to know about having a relationship with the Holy Spirit. You have to know about the, the promises of God for your life. You have to know what the Word of God says. So that means you have to study to show yourself approve study the word of god dig yourself in if you don't study the manual you won't know what it means to walk in holiness what it means to dedicate yourself what it means to build a hunger and a solid relationship with god and what it means to get deeper if you seek god all the other things you're seeking they will fall in place god will bring you a godly man he will bring you a man that he knows 
is a suitable partner for you because he knows it all. We try to do things with our physical eyes. We try to solve solutions on our own, but God has a solution to every problem. There's solution, there's, there's an answer to every single problem that we're going through in the Bible. Every single, every single problem you, you can possibly imagine, there's an answer to that problem in the Bible. And you're not going to know if you don't spend time. And lastly, patience. Exercise patience with God. I rush to to get married. I rush to do things. I rush to have a baby. I rush to, because I was looking at my time. I'm like, oh my God, Lord, I don't want to be 30 without having a baby. I don't want to be 30. And so I was trying to rush. But God had, had his own timetable for my life. It's better to wait and marry late and marry right than to rush, to marry early and marry wrong. And then you're trying to get out. Hallelujah. I hope this makes sense and this blesses somebody. First, seek to establish a relationship with God. Where are you in your relationship with God? And second, what is your purpose? Do you know why you're here on earth? Third, seek God first. Surrender everything to him. Everything. Everything. And the husband will come. The child will come. All the blessings will come. Hallelujah. Stay tuned. We're going to start praying. But first, um, let's reflect over these things. Okay? And then we're going to start praying. We're going to open the forum for people that have prayer requests. Um, we have to find a platform that will be suitable for everybody for prayer. We, we're going to walk in that, all of us. Okay? God bless you. And... Stay in the presence of the Lord. What did the Bible say? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow. So if you're not in his secret place, you're at risk. The enemy can attack you anytime. Okay? God bless you.